Here are three vectors in R4. To determine if they are linearly independent, we need to determine if this equation has non-trivial solutions. On the left side of this equation is just a linear combination of those three vectors, and the right side is zero. So the idea is that if there's some non-trivial way to combine the vectors so that they cancel out, then they are not linearly independent. If there is no way to do this, then they are linearly independent. Taking this equation and replacing those vectors with what we know they equal, we get this equation. Each vector multiplied by its individual scalar, they're being added together, and set equal to zero. This gives us a system that we can solve. The system has these scalars as its variables, and the coefficient matrix of the system is just this matrix here, whose columns are the three vectors whose dependence we're trying to determine. Now we can take this coefficient matrix and then perform Gauss-Jordan elimination to arrive at this reduced row echelon matrix. I'll let you verify the details, link in the description to my lessons going over Gauss-Jordan elimination if you need to review. Note that our coefficient matrix didn't need to have the column of zeros attached to it because it's just zeros. So whatever row operations we perform on this, the zeros would remain unchanged. But from this reduced row echelon four matrix, we can answer our question. Recall that column 1 corresponds to that scalar C1, column 1 corresponds to the scalar C2, and column 3 corresponds to the scalar C3. Then, we see that there is no leading entry in the third column, and this means that that scalar C3 is a free variable, and so indeed there are non-trivial solutions to this equation. In fact, there's an infinite number of non-trivial solutions. Since C3 is free, we could set it equal to an arbitrary parameter, T, and then from row 2, we'd have that C2 is equal to 2T, from row 1, we'd have that C1 is equal to negative 3t, and so for any value of t, we could find a solution to the equation. Since there is an infinite number of non-trivial ways to combine these vectors and produce zero, they are not linearly independent. And so, of course, we would say the vectors are linearly dependent. That's how to determine if three vectors in R4 are linearly independent or not. Use them as the column of a coefficient matrix, and then perform Gauss-Jordan elimination to see the nature of the solution set. If there was only the trivial solution, you would know that the vectors are linearly independent. Otherwise, they are linearly dependent. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Audio.